One way we like to think about this is that if Neuralink is to try to put a chip into a brain, why not go the other way and put the brain onto the chip? If we could use biocomputers to power cloud computing, we could decrease the power used by AI by thousands. A new type of biocomputer is gaining attention worldwide by combining regular computer chips with living brain cells. This new system merges natural brain cells with artificial ones to boost computing abilities and envision a world where machines and human intelligence can cooperate effectively. Not only is this innovation highly advanced in terms of science, but it is also reasonably priced at $35,000. It defies expectations by providing advanced technology at an affordable price and delivers within three months. Those interested in technology can own a cutting edge piece of equipment. People interested in neuromorphic computing should start saving up for this potentially groundbreaking purchase. This review is part of a continued investigation into AI progress. To grasp the significance of this biocomputer, one must comprehend neurons and neural networks first. The human brain is one of the most intricate structures in the scientific field. Around 86 billion neurons can be found in the brain, and they play a key role in our thinking, communication, and cognitive functions. These neurons create networks with approximately 100 trillion synapses that help in passing signals between them for complicated thinking processes. When a person thinks, signals travel through these neurons in the brain. Neurons are connected to create what is known as a neural network. Researchers refer to the brain's network as wetware, drawing comparisons to hardware and software. The brain acts as a natural processing unit that is more sophisticated than artificial intelligence. Even though researchers have done a lot of studies, a big question still hasn't been answered. How do brain cells make us aware of things? Researchers are looking into how brain cell activity causes us to have thoughts, feelings, and be aware of ourselves. If they can figure this out, it could help improve technology to make machines think like humans. New technology like generative AI and large language models are trying to copy how our brains work by using artificial networks that act like brain cells through math equations. Artificial neurons do not completely mimic real biological neurons. They only copy certain parts of neural activity rather than replicating how a living brain works. Many people mistakenly believe that artificial neural networks operate the same way as biological ones. The AI industry fuels this misconception by referring to artificial neural networks as neural networks without highlighting the important distinctions. Many people believe that artificial intelligence is capable of human-like thinking, but in reality, it can only identify patterns and make statistical forecasts. So how are artificial neurons connected to the brain? Let's find out. Connecting AI to the human brain. Scientists have been researching how to connect human brains and computers for many years. This has resulted in the creation of brain-computer interfaces, also called brain-machine interfaces. Companies such as Neuralink, started by Elon Musk, have made important advancements in developing technology that can connect to the human brain. These interfaces serve as channels for communication, enabling signals to be sent between the brain and external devices. Scientists can use these interfaces to track brain activity and trigger certain areas of the brain. In the future, this technology could potentially enable individuals to operate computers, robotic limbs, or various other devices just by thinking. Although the complete capabilities of BCIs are still being discovered, they play an important role in combining human intelligence with artificial systems. In science fiction, the idea of a brain in a box is often portrayed as a futuristic concept where a human brain functions without a physical body. Although this technology is not available right now, scientists are looking into different ways to create a similar result. Creating a very advanced artificial neural network that can mimic human thinking is one way to possibly transfer a person's brain contents into a machine. This could help preserve memories, knowledge, and cognitive abilities. However, this idea brings up difficult ethical and philosophical concerns about the concept of identity, consciousness, and the essence of being human. Currently, AI technology is far from reaching this high level of complexity, but recent progress indicates that combining biological neurons with artificial intelligence could be a positive step forward. But what implications does this have, and how did people see it? The ethical and scientific implications of this discovery. The human brain is clever because it uses a small amount of energy when performing difficult tasks. It only needs 12 watts of power 
which is much less than what a light bulb uses. Unlike a light bulb, the brain can think, make decisions, and control the body using very little energy. This efficiency is remarkable when compared to the energy requirements of AI systems. Some scientists propose a mix of living neurons and silicon chips as a more efficient way to create brain-like functions, rather than trying to copy the entire human brain. The merging of artificial intelligence with biological neurons allows them to work together and combine their strengths. This new biocomputer has the potential to completely change how we solve problems. And I can communicate with living neurons to improve processing power through a feedback loop. This innovative system has applications in medical research, robotics, and other scientific fields. However, using living neurons in technology raises ethical issues. The source of these living neurons is a crucial aspect to consider in biocomputing. Scientists explain that these neurons are created in a laboratory instead of being taken from living organisms. The lab-grown neurons are artificial and have never been a part of a real brain. This may help with ethical concerns, but some people believe that making synthetic neurons for computing raises moral issues. On the other hand, some believe it's okay to use these neurons in technology as long as they do not have feelings or consciousness. The AI industry is having difficulty with the large amount of energy needed to run powerful models. Data centers use a large amount of electricity, which strains power grids and raises concerns about sustainability. As artificial intelligence is utilized more for automation and decision-making, the problem of energy consumption will worsen. There is hope for biocomputers, which merge artificial neural networks with biological neurons to revolutionize computation. Researchers aim to develop processing units that mimic the human brain by incorporating living neurons into computer systems. Synthetic neurons on silicon chips could reduce the energy required for complex calculations. Biocomputers could be better at processing data, saving energy and improving performance. This new way of computing needs a new approach to how things are set up. The key problem is determining when to use artificial neural networks versus biological neurons. It's crucial to find the right mix for efficiency. Researchers are coming up with new ways to label these mixed systems, like synthetic biological intelligence, or wetware as a service. These biocomputers contain both living and artificial neurons. This fresh technology offers advantages beyond just saving energy. It could enhance AI models to think and adjust like human brains, resulting in quicker and more natural machine thinking. Now let's take a look at the real created biocomputers and their functions. The creation of the real biocomputers. An Australian company named Cortical Labs has made a significant advancement in this area with the creation of a new biocomputer called CL1. The CL1 is the first of its kind in the world, allowing users to incorporate living neurons into computational processes. One of the key features of the CL1 is its ability to operate for a duration of six months made possible by an environmental containment system that keeps the living neurons sustained. Users will not need to worry about the upkeep of these neurons as the biocomputer takes care of it all automatically. Even though the CL1 has a modern design, it looks like a regular computer with USB ports, a built-in camera, and a touchscreen that allows you to check its environmental system. But it is different from typical computers because it has a unique kind of processing unit that merges artificial and biological neural networks. Cortical Labs has been developing this technology for many years. In 2022, they showed how effective it is by teaching a biocomputer to play the game Pong. This was a significant achievement in creating Synthetic Biological Intelligence, SBI, demonstrating that living neurons could interact meaningfully with digital worlds. A study released in 2023 discussed the progress in this area emphasizing how biocomputers could change the way we think about AI and computing. One of the most interesting things about this technology is how it works together with its surroundings. Cortical Labs has made a unique operating system called the Biological Intelligence Operating System, BIOS, that makes a virtual world for the neurons. The system communicates with the neurons, gets feedback, and changes based on their actions. This method lets the biocomputer show purposeful behavior which is a major trait of smart systems. The consequences of this advancement are significant. Now, even people who are not part of big research institutions can use biocomputing technology, although it is expensive.
the CL1 model costs $35,000, which means most households cannot afford it, but tech startups and research facilities can. As the technology progresses, prices may go down, making biocomputers more widely used. One big problem still exists, scalability. Current biocomputers only use a small number of artificial neurons. Scientists need to figure out if they can increase the complexity and amount of these biological parts to equal or even surpass regular computer systems. If they are successful, biocomputers could change AI and computing, creating machines that think more like human brains. But if scalability is a challenge, the technology might only be used for research purposes rather than in everyday use. Biocomputers raise philosophical questions in addition to technical ones. One question is whether machines that contain living neurons could eventually become conscious. This idea is speculative, but it sparks a conversation about intelligence and the definition of being alive. Some people may find the idea unsettling, while others see it as a step forward in computing technology. Considering the advancements in AI and biocomputing, it is interesting to think about whether these artificial neurons have any kind of basic thoughts. Do they contemplate their existence similar to humans? If they could communicate, would they wonder if they are living in a simulated reality or part of a larger system? The future of AI and computing is definitely going towards an exciting, unknown area. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.